Will you welcome the Jefferson Aeroplane? Play, Dennis. <laughs> Sir. I like you and your father. This is volunteers. You're a volunteer. Man! Look what's happening out in the streets. Got a revolution.
Hi, Grace. Hi, Dick. This is Miss Grace Slick, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Mrs. Grace Slick. You're Mrs. Slick? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on now. You can put me on to a certain extent, but not... You know, not... I've been married for about 10 years. Is that so? Mm. Well, this is Mrs. Grace Slick. See, there's no applause for that. <laughs> nice to see you, Grace. Thank you. I've liked you, I don't know, ever since you first started out with the Lennon sisters. And I really just, you know, I sat on the desk while you were you playing. You want to stand up and have a fight here, or do you want to? Oh, no, oh, no. those are the other chicks. Are they coming out? The other chicks? Yeah, women's liberation. Are you liberation? referring to my lady guests? Two ladies from the... Yeah, but I don't know their names. Ladies, uh, women's liberation ladies, movement? Yeah. yeah. Are they coming out? Are you here to make trouble? No, I just want to know what they're doing. They're I'm guests here. They're going to be here tonight, and they thought the subject of Hugh Hefner and Rollo May, and those ladies would all intertwine and make a very interesting program. Good. We thought you might like to sit here and take part in it. Well, Grace! 
You want to talk? Any, <laughs> you, would you please just... I'll, I, listen, you did not raise your hand, and you cannot leave your seat unless you've raised your hand. I have to go to the bathroom. Did you get away with that at Finch College? What, saying do I have to go to the bathroom? Were you a cheerleader at Finch? No. no. Or anything like that? Grace went to Finch College. Hey, listen, somebody She's... from your uh, office or whatever called this morning said, listen, he could ad-lib it, you know, we could do that, but no, he'd really like to have some facts. Yeah. So I gave him some facts, and they said, Tricia went to Finch. Is that true? Tricia, uh, I didn't you know, know that. You know, Trish. <laughs> Trish? You and Trisha Nixon went to... Yes, yeah, somebody said she went to Finch. Oh, no, I, I'm I, was, sorry, I thought I you were her. stating that I must she did. Have really been, you know. Well, you're not the same age anyway. No, I'm 10 years older than she is anyway. Yeah. 15. But people, people find it a little incongruous that a lady who is into something like the rock scene would be a, a graduate of a finishing school, if that's what no, you call Finch No, Finch is college. a diving board for that sort of thing. <laughs> really? You mean it's required to be the lead singer in a group like this to go to a finishing school? No, but they drive you to it. <laughs> How do you mean that? Were you not happy there? Did you grouse a no, bit? No, actually, I liked it. The reason why I went there is uh, to see New York. I didn't pick it because of a college. It just, uh, it was, somebody said, I'm going to Finch. Oh, yeah, that's in New York. Fine, I'll go there. Could you mm. sit closer to the microphone so that the home audience has a chance of hearing you? Certainly. But don't lower your voice when you do it, because then you defeat the purpose. <laughs> well, see, I'm so used to the volume that we sing at, that when I, I, when I hear my own voice like this, it echoes back, rings in my ears, and yeah. I'm afraid to speak out. Really let loose once on here and see what happens. That's uh, the sound, folks. It's so high that <laughs> only a musically educated dog can hear it. <laughs> Where's Jack? He's got that great... No, don't bring it out. Does Jack, Jack Cassidy ever laugh? You just heard him laugh. I could hear him laugh all the way out here, and he's in the green he's room. So, when he plays the bass, and he's so serious when he plays that it looks like he's working at some monumental problem. Of... My father wanted to know if he was a cretin, because, no, he, he does this thing when he plays bass, he has really specific things, like his eyebrows go in time to the music. Yeah. And his mouth hangs open. You know, my father was really serious, he's and he said, right, I don't mean to be, you know, funny or anything, but is a guy a moron? Yeah. But he's not really a moron. He just looks like that when he plays bass. Otherwise, he's very bright. Do you say cretin? Cretan? Cretan, yeah. Is it Cretan? Yeah. Is Jack a Cretan? He may be. I, I can't sit here and let anyone be called a Cretan. But a Cretan, he may very well Maybe be. Maybe that was a problem. Yeah. Run out to your dictionaries, folks, and see which of us is right. I'll bet on Cretan. I don't know. I have nothing invested in this, really. They don't say just... anything. They're very quiet. They don't offer any suggestions or anything. Do any of you know whether it's Cretan or Cretan? How many say Cretan? Hands? Cretan. You and William F. Buckley pronounce it Cretan. Oh, he does? That's the truth. I was watching the show the other night, and he said Cretan. I like him. He's really funny. Yeah. He's a great clown. He wasn't at Finch when you were. No, that's, that's Truman Capote. You think? Uh, oh, no. Listen, I like That's Truman. ad hominem. What are we talking ad about? Hoke, ad hoke. Ad don't you have to do a commercial? Hey, do you have a, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit here, and, and if they don't like <laughs> us, we're going to go down there and slap their faces, every one of them. Oh, we're having a nice time. We can talk. We don't have to get gigantic laughter. Okay. Do you have a crew cut? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, Is that I, on I your notes? I, I had a note about a crew cut. <laughs> yeah, somebody gave me the word crew cut. Oh, they must mean you don't like a crew cut. Crew cut. Oh, yeah, it sticks in your hand. Are you all thrilled with this? <laughs> we do have to, we do have a message now. Are you relieved? Yeah, a bit. We'll be right back. All of us. 